Previously on Critics Court. Yeah, everybody, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just put, I just dented my desk. All right. George Lucas is not a defendant on, is not a. No, George Lucas not, is the not creator not of, of the Star Wars fight. and we wouldn't that's, be here without him. That's nice, but that's, but the fans are actually the. That, wrong that's party, nice. Not we George wouldn't Lucas. be fans of George Star Wars Lucas. if it wasn't for George Lucas. But he's no longer in control. I know, because it was fraudulent misrepresentation and he got swindled out of his company and his legacy. We mentioned before how uh, Mark Hamill basically does not appear in The Force Awakens, which is as fraudulent as possible for two reasons. One, there was that classic picture, that black and white picture of the entire crew, old and new, reading the script. Why was he even there? I mean, he must well have been fetching coffee. But also, I believe that Mark Hamill himself did the voiceover for one of the teaser trailers for The Force Awakens. Now, he is a very talented voice actor, but certainly you could get any voice actor to read that material. But using him and, and connecting with the fans was, again, another misrepresentation of, oh, yeah, by the way, Mark Hamill, the actor you've been loving for 40 years, he will be in the story. No, he won't be. Mark, Mark Hamill was in the very last shot, but he was in the movie. <laughs> technically, he was there. And yes, yeah. technically. There were extras who had more room in, in the space and From a certain time point of view, Mark Hamill was in the movie. I, I think what you're describing is what would be considered the bait and switch. Let's just take Mark Hamill for a second. You know, if Mark Hamill is doing press, he is doing teaser trailers for it. Uh, there's an expectation that he would be in the movie, and yet he is in the, yes, he is technically in the movie, but not in a way that is satisfying to those, to the expectations of fans going into the film prior, not knowing anything about the movie. Rise of Skywalker, love it or hate it, it still made over a billion dollars. If you if, if we're going by the same argument that because of the like Last Jedi, was killing the fan base, you know, and that they immediately were losing money because of Solo, then why didn't The Rise of Skywalker make less than a billion dollars? Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Lando. I'm falling asleep during this debate. <laughs>